Hello kids, Miss Anna here. Today we're going to read Wish for a Fish, all about sea creatures. And I do have to mention, this book is a little long, so we had to edit it. So there are some pages that we didn't go through, but if you would like to, you can go and get the book from maybe an online library, or hopefully you can possibly get it from Amazon. Wish for a Fish by Bonnie Worth. I'm the cat in the hat, and I hear that you wish to go down to the sea and to visit the fish. So please climb on board SS Undersea Glubber. It is made out of shark skin and very fine rubber. It will take us down deep, deep down under the sea. We will start at the top and go deep as can be. The top parts are sunny, the bottom parts black. We'll go to the bottom and then we'll come back. Sunny zone, twilight zone, dark zone, abyss. The trench at the bottom you won't want to miss. Sunny zone. The sunny zone is where our sea visit starts. Most of our sea life is found in these parts. The law of the sea is the same as on land. I'll call it the food chain so you'll understand. The big fish eat smaller fish, and so on until you get down to one of the tiniest krill. If you're wishing for fish, there are lots of them here. I see herring and mackerel swimming quite near. Fish can lay eggs. They have fins and fish tails, and most fish have bodies all covered with scales. These scales, they are coated with slippery slime. The slime keeps out germs, at least most of the time. <laughs> Fish open their mouths and they let water in. That's when the gill's job really starts to kick in. Gills sift through the water and pull out the air. They help the fish find all the air that is there. They say it's oxygen, really. <laughs> The jellyfish is a most interesting fella. He looks kind of like a transparent umbrella. Transparent means you can see through it. Stay away from his tentacles, those long stringy things. They stun prey by giving off hundreds of stings. Ooh, don't touch. Of the hundreds of kinds of sharks in the sea, we only have time now to visit with three. The six inch long dogfish, no, it never barks. The 50 foot whale shark, the Mack truck of sharks. And what have we here? Another sea mammal we'll see is the whale. It's the largest of mammals we'll see without fail. The great whale family is split into two. Toothed whales like the orca and baleen like the blue. Baleen whales, oops, sorry, baleen fills the blue whale's mouth like a grill. As water flows through it, it strains out the krill. The blue whale weighs tons, maybe 90 or more. It's bigger than even a big dinosaur. These toothed whales are orcas, and few can defeat them. They like to hunt seals and to catch them and eat them. The narwhal's one tusk sticks out like a horn. It looks so much like a one-horned unicorn. All whales hold their breath when they dive down below. And when they come up, let it out with a blow. Before we go deeper, let's all wave hello to our mammal pals, dolphins. That's them down below. A dolphin can see in the night. Wonder why? Echo location. It works like an eye. It sends out a click and the click bounces back. And the sound of that click helps the dol dolphin keep track of where it is going and which fish is where and whether some foe, like a shark, might be there. 
Shake hands with the octopus. Isn't it great? With arm after arm, just for hugging. Yikes, eight! Dear Dick and Sweet Sally, tell me, what would you think if I told you the octopus shoots out a dark ink? Ooh. It squirts out the ink in some enemy's face and then swims away to a much safer place. Oh, say, can you see by my undersea clock? It is time the fair glubber get back to the dock. Oh, got back to the dock. And now that our trip below sea is all done, I will bet that you too have a wish for some sun. Thank you guys very much. Looks like we're all finished. Yeah, looks like we're all finished with wish for a fish all about sea creatures.